It's two caps. It's Bob and Miller. Like the video. Did I? Oh, man. That ball's actually flying for Coors. Wow. <laughs> How'd that ball get that far in Coors Field, man? Well, duh. It's Coors Field. I answered my own question. Okay, so here's his first cap, I guess. I don't know how he has a cap at one and eight. I'm not sure, but uh, we're also debuting uh, who I think is the best face of, or the future of the franchise, rather, a starting pitcher that we got in Bobby Miller. I feel like this car is going to be in a lot of people's lineups. We saw him in the uh, summer circuit as well. And that video for the summer circuit will be live on probably a day or two from now. But also, thanks for the love of the last couple of videos, man. You guys have been very, very kind. Don't forget to like the video, by the way. Uh, Bobby Miller features a five-pitch mix, and he namely has an outlier fastball. He's got the sinker. Um, obviously, like, the best way you can make this card is, like, well, I mean, like, what would the best meta be? It'd be, like, a four-seam fastball, cutter sinker, floating sliders on one and two counts. You know, we're very good at that. But I also think the slurve is a little bit better than the slider is this year, and that was not where I was supposed to go. Like, man, I wanted a little bit more uh, off the plate than it was, but uh, I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job pitching lately, so I'm not too pressed about it, but uh, I, I really want to get my offense going. I feel like I've not hit the ball well in MLB The Show of late, so I would like to kind of change that vibe up a little bit. That was the ugliest swing I've ever seen in my life. Early vibe on Bobby Miller is that this might be a do or die starting pitcher. Like, I know that home run by Cattell is just one swing, but dude, I, I'm having a little bit of fun with him, and it's literally just the first inning. <laughs> Already three strikeouts for Bobby. <laughs> I wish my Cattell could do what his Cattell did. Get down the line, fair ball for Delgado, let's go. And I should get two, because Nelson Cruz is in right field and he's not good defensively. I hope you guys like that song. <laughs> hip hip Jorge, let's go Polanco. I mean, that's a fastball right down the middle. That's got, I barely got out of here. Shout out to that fan. He has the best hands of all time, apparently. Well, I chased a bad one there. Uh, wait, what? That was a weird animation that just happened at first base. Nice swing by J-Ram, man. Oh, it's past the left fielder. Can I get three? Go, 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 go. Nah, stay two. Oh, no, I'm out of two. I'm out of two. I'm out of two. I'm not out of two. Imagine if Bobby Miller can hit the ball. Oh, I thought we had something for a minute there. I love you, J-Ram. You're my favorite third baseman ever. Even Delgado agrees. Point whatever he did. That was a bad curveball. Beautiful. So he saw... So Wait. I thought I had something there. So what I saw was that he's aggressive on the curveball. So I throw it a little bit further on the zone than uh, he wants it. And we get the ground ball. And now we got the eight hitter on deck or eight hitter plate. And you guys saw in the last video how I talked about uh, the pitchers on deck. So we want to work around the eight hitter, but make him like force himself to get out. So, I mean, that's back to back against the exact thing, uh, same thing I was saying. That was not how that was supposed to go at all. He's taking Casey Mize out after two innings of work. This dude's a psychopath. All right, now actually bounce the curveball, please. Thank you. There we go. All right, so punch on number four for Bobby Miller. Two runs allowed. And to be honest, man, uh, one of them was on a great swing. That second run that inning was uh, completely my fault. So I'm noticing a little bit of an issue with control on him. So we're going to have to really nail our spots. But overall, I'm liking him so far. Lefty Grove. Oh, dude, I shouldn't have booted up my PS5 today. I just got underneath it, man. That sucks. Buxton, cats got to get out of here. Let's go, baby. Byron Buxton. Solo shot to left. We have the lead once again. Man, let's go, baby. Hello? 
Oh my goodness, Bobby. My man Bobby Miller can't locate to save his life, dude. What is happening? That was almost 100% accuracy and it went right to... Oh, Bobby. There we go. There we go. How runners might be moving, but... I mean, every out he's getting is a punch out. It's just like, I need you to be better at what you're doing. You know what I mean? Dude, he literally can't hit the off speed at all. So... I don't mind this card, but he is really difficult to use with control. You have to be on everything with him. Even like a curveball that I thought I located pretty well ends up being thrown right down the middle. So what a swing by Delgado. Let's go, baby. Let's get some offense back. This is uh, already six runs in three innings, man. It should be a high scoring game. No. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Oh, that's through the hole as well. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Let's go, baby. Jay Rammer right center field. That'll be down. Get past him. It's a center fielder falling down and Mickey Mantle. That should be a three RBI basis clearing double. She throws it to third. Let's go, Jay Ram. And Bobby Miller moves him over. Look at everybody doing their job. I literally suck with Mike Trout. And it makes me so sad. I, I can't hit with Trout, man. This is horrible. That's going to get the run in in a big way. Mike Trout with a two-run shot to right. We have a five-run lead. Let's go, baby. I need more of those with Trout because I'm not good with him. That ball was absolutely hung. Oh my goodness. Joe Maurer on a perfect, perfect to right center field. Nearly 450 feet, 104.4 on your radio dial. Oh, come on, man. All right, because my opponent rage quit out of the game, we're gonna give you guys some more. We are giving you Bobby Miller. Welcome to the Bobby Miller Show. We're going into uh, events to throw Bobby Miller out there again. Uh, just And now I'm going to get to see him. So we'll actually have a steady dose of uh, idea from me, uh, how he works uh, pitching-wise. I mean, we kind of already know that based on uh, his uh, hanging some off-speed and his strikeouts that he got. But uh, I'm excited to face him now and see how the release point feels. Okay, I mean, we literally just talked about this. <laughs> that four seam went right down the middle, dude. Bobby, we gotta figure it out. Okay, that splitter was actually like, he threw his four seam fastball the pitch right before and I was way out in front of that. Bobby Miller, low key disgusting. How much you wanna bet four seam right here or sinker right here? Okay, well, I would have lost the mortgage. Let me double down like a degenerate gambler. Fastball here, sinker here. Okay, well, I'm broke. I've lost my car. My wife left me, and now I'm in a cardboard box under the bridge eating a can of Hormel beans. I don't know where I'm going with this joke. I lost it near the end. I'd say about it started like a 10 out of 10 joke, fell to like a 3 out of 10 joke, so we'll work on that. And then with Bobby Miller, as far as sequencing goes, um, you have a you have a sinker, obviously. So you're talking about using the sinker uh, middle in anywhere in this location, to be honest. But middle in first righties, the sinkers you're gonna want to utilize a lot because uh, it's just such a difficult pitch to hit. Also with the slider, uh, now with a lefty, you know, we're talking about a slider low and out of the zone. You ideally don't want to have that fall in the corner of the zone like it almost did there. But as we look at the pitch track uh, in the like K zone here, it should show just out of the zone. And if it does, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly where we want it to go. And it's splitters, we want to throw uh, middle away and middle inside, just like the idea of sinkers. And then four seam fastballs, I like to throw these uh, middle away a lot to righties. Like with a righty, you don't want to throw it here. Uh, you don't want to throw it down here. It's a really easy pitch to turn on, but some a little bit higher in the zone. Uh, your eyes stay a little bit longer to like kind of watch it go through. Uh, now with Frank, I'm going to try to front door a slider, but knowing it's awful control, this one's probably going 800 feet or that. So uh, obviously on all-star difficulty and an event, not going to get a, the strikeouts that we would have in Hall of Fame or Legend in ranked seasons, but 
I, I mean, I, I like the card. I, he is out, like any card that's outlier fastball has the sinker, has the changeup. Um, obviously, be a big fan of, but you're looking for a card to also have a cutter. I like Randy Johnson really showed me the light in wanting a slurve versus a slider. Paguaro possibly getting a Cunha here on the run. I love the animation. That's awesome. But if I had to say on Bobby Miller, um, his control is a big issue. But like I like you guys saw in the rank game play for my opponent rage quit. I mean, we had what six or seven punch outs before he rage quit the game. Despite the runs allowed, a huge K per nine guy, a huge punch out guy, a power pitcher, and we'll hopefully end the video on a nice little walk off here. That was literally down the middle. You couldn't have been more down the middle than that. You know what we're not doing is that hit and run idea. We're going to hit it with David Justice out the left field for a walk-off home run in events. Hitting the walk-off home run in events. Let's go, baby. But collectively between the event and between our ranked seasons game, we got six innings out of Bobby Miller, uh, a 1.0 whip. He had seven strikeouts, so a higher K per nine or a higher uh, K per nine than one, which is great. And overall, low opponent batting average. Like I would say with Bobby Miller, it's a real boomer bust guy because he can't locate very well. So if he throws it in the zone, it's going to get crushed. But he's got 97 K per nine, 103 hit per nine, making that PCI smaller. Got 99 velo, got 90, uh, 98 break. And then if we look at pitch velocity and we look at pitch control and pitch break. I mean, a decent card. I think you should give him a shot in your lineup. And uh, I also think you guys uh, should continue to watch more videos on the channel if you feel like it. Uh, more videos being uploaded every single day. If you guys have not subbed the channel, I would appreciate it if you do so. And I thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one.